Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Darksiders 2. Let's start the game. Okay. Oh, good, it uses autosave. I'm going to need that. Okay, how do I select the difficulty? I suppose I have to use the mouse for this. Okay, apocalyptic. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for that. Okay, we want the gamma quite high. That's the way to go. Okay, that's good. Thank you. There can be no life without order. Good, evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council, an ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the balance has been broken. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the Demon Lords, and the Destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the Horsemen War triggered the Apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other Horsemen, fearless enforcers of the Council's will? What of fury, strife, and death? To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim had countless realms of the sword and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed, and the rider's first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four, not war, who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence, but one who would save his brother above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, Death. <laughs> to bargain for war's freedom, Death swore that he would resurrect humanity. This might be done. And so death rode forth into the icy veil to find the keeper of secrets. Oh, here we go, and we're in the game. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, we use left bumper and right bumper to summon or banish to spare. Okay, that's easy enough. Aha, we can jump with the A button as well. Very nice. Amazing visual style, I see. Oh yes, okay. Now we can test out some of Death's maneuverability and agility. Oh yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>
Oh, there's a hammer there. We got a drop, I think. Okay, there we are. Now, how do we pick up stuff? Aha, pick up is B. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go over here and pick up this hammer then. There we are. Do I want to pick it up though? And do I want to use it even? <laughs> Let's take a look here. Nope, not that way. Ah, there we are. Secondary weapons. I see. No, I don't really want to. I think the sides are... I mean, they're slow, aren't they? So... Hmm. Oh, I see. It's a two-handed weapon. Aha! Okay, nope. I prefer the scythes. So, let's go with that. If possible. Oh, there we are. We've got them back on. Good. Oh, what's over here, though? Ah, I see it's a secondary weapon. Okay, that's fine. That's totally cool. Okay, we can still do the... Ooh, wow. Okay, death is very maneuverable. Very nice. Let's enter the dark fortress and see what lies within. Reach the top of the dark fortress. Okay, now this is war running, I suppose. Yeah. Very nice. And stylish. An ice skeleton. He's going down. We are too hot for him. Oh, yes. Okay, there we go. Picked up some gauntlets. Oh, yeah. Now, what are we getting? Oh, what's this? Health potions. Aha. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to access the menu for one second and enable auto-looting. Okay, we're in the menu screen, and I'm now equipping some greaves to death. And they change his appearance, as you can see, which is rather cool. And now let's head onward. Oh, no, not that way. Let's not go... <laughs> let's not jump to our deaths. Let's not do that. Yes, that's what we want to do. Not, not that way, though. We want to go over this way. Yes. Okay, another ice skeleton that we can break out of the ice for XP. I want all of the XP, yes. Oh yeah, take the hammer to the face, okay. And I have enabled auto loot, thank you game. Oh, another ice skeleton here. Okay, he's dead. Oh, it's so nice to have auto loot. Okay. <laughs> Death can traverse wooden beams in the environment. Jump A towards the beam to grab on. Oh, yes. Okay, let's do that. Okay, we can rotate. Aha. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. No. Get those crows away from me. Okay. Yes. Oh, more ice skeletons. Oh, it's two of them. Okay. No, you cannot hit death. He is immortal. Yeah! Take that to the face. Okay. Let's pick up these. Okay. Which way do we go? Aha! Up here. Okay. Edges to lean. Okay. We can jump across here, I suppose. Yes. And then jump on here. And now where? Oh, it, I see. We just dropped down now. Okay. Thank you. Nice, two for one. Oh, there's one more there. Oh, two more even. Okay. Let's take a look. 
Oh, I see. Even if I use the hammer on the ice, it doesn't break instantly. Well, that's good to know. Ooh, 700 damage. Okay. Okay, nice. Picking up some gold. And then... Wall vines. Okay, so we can traverse these. 